Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel the teacher and in this tutorial we will learn that how to create new voucher types in tally prime or tally erp9 and why would you need it and what are the benefits of creating new voucher types so before we begin let me show you one thing that i have already published 11 tutorials on different uh, options of tally erp9 and here you can see the playlist and i have given the link in the cards and in the video description you can go and check these videos out to le start learning tally from beginning if you are a beginner then these uh, 11 lessons could be very helpful to you and they are around of three hours so let's get back to the voucher types so in tally prime if you go to the create section of masters after selecting a company then you can find here voucher types and in tally erp9 you can do this by going to the accounts information menu under gateway of tally and under masters after selecting the company and here you can see voucher types and you can create display and alter you can do these three things with voucher types in tally erp9 whereas if you want to alter any voucher type in tally prime then you have to go to the alter section and there is no display section by the way uh, in tally prime so let's uh, see first that why we need to create new voucher types so if you go to the display more reports under tally and here if you go to the stats then here you can find all the voucher types that tally prime or tally erp9 can support and here we have this company deepak sharma and we are working in uh, 2012 and 2013 year and here if you see that we have 115 contra vouchers that is a good place to see all the voucher types that how many vouchers you have entered for each voucher type so it is a good good place to see that under these stats so here you can see that the general voucher entries are counting to 77 and payment vouchers are 178 and then we have receipt vouchers 18 so let's say if i hit enter on here contra so you can see then monthly wise report of contra vouchers that in april you have entered three contra entries in may you have five and then again on june three and then in july you have 12 contra entries and and if you hit the enter key then you can see all those 12 entries of contra so here you can see one thing that the voucher type First we have date, then particulars, then the most important thing, voucher types, then voucher number, debit amount and credit amount. So the voucher type is available in all books. Let's say if I go to day book, then voucher type is also available here. And if I go to the accounts book, let's say if I open cash book, let's say for the month of February, then you can see that everywhere voucher type is available so if you let's say are looking into the stats and for contra entry and let's say you open december month and here we have 15 entries so it says access bank limited credit 5000 so that means if that is a contra entry then the other ledger name uh, probably will be cash cash account or that could also be another bank account where you are going to transfer money from one bank account to another so you can enter three types of entry in contra cash to bank bank to cash and bank to bank so most of the beginners have to press enter key to see the actual uh, uh, credit and debit ledger because if you look into these uh, list here uh, like uh, if i let's say open let's say i open display accounts book and ledger and here i open bajaj finance limited so here we have two payment entries but you are not sure either it is a cash payment or a bank payment you have to hit the enter key to see the further details or you can also press so here in day book if you press alt plus f1 key then you can see the other ledger like so here in daybook we have first entry car charges which is 
filled under payment voucher type and but we don't know that either it is a cash entry or the payment has been made by a check bank check so in daybook if you hold down the alt alt key and then press f1 then you can see both of the ledger the debit and the credit ledger so you don't then need to hit the enter key but there is a little bit confusing when you uh, need to see many of the entries in a day and then you have to look by pressing the alt f1 in day book or you have to press the enter key to see the further details but voucher types can help you in many ways let me show you one example in this tutorial let's start by creating a new voucher type so i will go to the create section of masters and here i will move under voucher type under voucher type first you have to type the name of the voucher type that you want to apply so let's say i want to uh, separate the cash entries like i do cash payment and cash receipt entries i want to i want to have a different voucher type for cash receipt and cash payment so let's start by creating a new voucher type cash payment this lesson is just for beginners and uh, here are a lot of option under voucher types and we will also see them in other tutorials for now i will just give you a basic knowledge about uh, creating new voucher type and what are the benefits of doing that so as we are creating the payment voucher type that is cash payment so we will place it under the payment voucher by default these are the voucher types of tally which are inbuilt voucher types and i will put this cash payment voucher under payment so abbreviation will be if you want to change it then you can say cash payment let's uh, remain these other features intact we will discuss them in other tutorials and here under class i would like to tell you one thing first we will save this voucher type now if you move to the vouchers under gateway of tally and here if you press the f5 key then you will start seeing the new voucher type that you just created under the payment voucher type so if i choose here cash payment so now i can say i paid for air conditioner let's say 2000 rupees and that was cash payment so i just change the voucher type and there you can see the name of voucher type cash payment that is voucher number 1 and that is under 31st march so if i save this voucher let's say now if i move to day book so here you can see the voucher type that is cash payment uh, so if you want to differentiate voucher types with their names like do you want the cash payment to be displayed as cash payment under voucher type and for bank payments you want the name to be displayed as bank payments not only payment then you can create new voucher type to to differentiate between voucher entries so that way you can see which are the cash payment and which are the bank payment so i can also create a new voucher type let's say bank payment i will go to the create section voucher type and here i will type bank payment that will be also under payment that is just we are just creating a new name for the voucher type that is all we are doing nothing else we are creating for our convenience because but we want that when we see the books then we don't have to press the enter key or press the alt f1 key to see the further details and the name of the second ledger either it is a cash account or a bank account so to avoid that confusion we have just created two different payment types so i will save that and to save if you don't want to press so many enter keys you can also press control a key now if i go to voucher again and press f5 then you will see three different voucher types payment cash payment and bank payment so we are doing nothing for now we have just created a new voucher type under payment and we named it bank payment and cash payment that is all but uh, you can also made a mistake here like we are going to pay let's say 1000 rupees for air conditioner and even the voucher type is bank payment but by mistake you can enter the cash ledger here so it will not stop you 
to fill the entry so if i go to the daybook again then you can see that entry here i even it is showing that voucher type is bank payment but that is just a name and if you hit the enter key then you will see that the credit ledger name is cash so that is your mistake to avoid this uh, mistakes when we are creating new voucher type then then we can take the help of voucher classes and let me show you how so now I will move to the alter section of the uh, masters and here I will move to voucher type and which voucher type I want to alter I want to alter cash payment so let's say for example so here you can see we have name of class here so I will say let's say cash and here you can exclude and include groups and ledgers that you want to display for this voucher type only so I don't want to exclude any groups but I want to include a group and that is cash in hand all the ledgers which fall under cash in hand group the ledgers that you placed under cash in hand group while creating them will appear in this voucher type and then end of list you can also uh, go for the ledger name if you don't want to include the groups then you can also include only the ledgers like I can here I can end of uh, here I can choose end of list and here under ledger name I choose uh, cash ledger so now I save the voucher type and for bank payment also I will add a new class let's say bank this is just the name of the class and here you have to specify which ledger or groups you want to include while entering the bank payment voucher type so either you can uh, add a complete group and all the ledgers in this group will be get displayed when you will enter bank payment voucher type so instead of uh, adding a ledger this time I will choose bank accounts bank OC I want uh, these both of these group all the ledgers in both of these group to be displayed under bank payment voucher type so I will save this list now so what will happen after creating a class now if you will enter a new voucher type and will press the F5 key and here if you choose cash payment then it will also ask you for the class name that you have just created so here I choose cash you can create more than one class for a single entry like if you will create more than one class under a single voucher type then you will see a list here so here if I choose the class cash now you can notice one thing here that now it didn't ask me the ledger name under the account it it is right now on the particular section because we have already fixed that if we are entering the cash payment voucher type then on the account section the cash ledger should be filled automatically we have fixed this ledger cash ledger for this uh, voucher type and the class so let's say I add entry for air conditioner for 500 rupees and now if I go to the daybook then here you can see the entry for 500 rupees cash payment now it will exactly be cash payment because we are using a class and that class will not let you enter any any other legend name in this voucher so now let's say we see another example see another example and this time I will add a bank entry bank payment so as soon as I hit the enter key on bank payment voucher type and choose the class bank so now you will only see those legend name which are under bank accounts bank OC or bank OD you are only seeing those ledger which fall under these groups so let's say I choose access bank and you can see that there is no cash ledger now because we have just included these three group type bank accounts bank OC and bank OD so let's choose Andhra bank here and let's say we again pay 800 rupees for air conditioner and save this entry let's add a date now if you move to daybook then you can see here we have a 800 rupees bank entry and you will be sure that it is a bank entry because you have chosen the right class while entering that bank payment voucher type so you can either create many voucher type different voucher types 
or you can create classes under one voucher type. So let's delete these voucher from the daybook. I will go to the daybook and I will delete these entries that I just uh, recently added. These four entries for air conditioner and you can delete one entry by pressing the Alt and D key and it will ask you if you want to delete yes or no. Hit the enter key for yes. So I have deleted all these voucher. Now I will again move to the alter section, voucher types, and here I will alter cash payment. And now I can also delete this voucher type by pressing the Alt and D key because this voucher type is totally completely empty. They, it doesn't contain any vouchers entry. So I can delete this. In Tally, you can delete only those ledgers, groups or voucher types which doesn't contain anything else. So if there will be any voucher, then it will not let you delete that voucher type or ledger or group. So here is bank payment, I will delete that also. Here we also have cash deposit and cash receipt. I will also delete them. Now if I move to the payment section payment voucher type so instead of creating new voucher types I can also create two different classes for this payment default voucher type payment I can create two different classes like first the bank and here I will only include the bank account groups and no ledger now I will create a second class here that will be cash and here I will only include one ledger that is cash so I have created two classes under the default payment voucher type. So what will be the benefit of this if you go to the vouchers now and press the F5 key then you will only see one voucher type that is payment but you will also see all the classes that you have created under that voucher type. So let's say if I choose cash then under the account you will see that it has automatically filled the cash ledger and below you will see all the other ledgers so let's say I add a commission expenses of 200 rupees now if I go to the daybook then here you can see that entry so here we have commission expenses which is under payment voucher but if we open this voucher then you can see the class is set to cash you can either create new voucher type which will have the name that you want for them like instead of only payment voucher type you can create cash payment bank payment and uh, for uh, receipt entries you can also create new voucher types like cash receipt bank receipt so if you create a class then you will still not have any information about a class in this list type detail of any book doesn't matter either it is a day book if you open a ledger account let's say I open the cash ledger account here so you will see all the entries and the voucher types but you will not know that which voucher type it is actually is either the cash ledger has been used under the payment or a bank account has been used so you have to press the enter key so to avoid this or to see a clear report in the printout you can go for uh, creating new voucher types and you will have new classes for them so you will have a new name for your voucher type and new classes you can create for your new voucher type so I hope this introductory lesson about voucher types will help you to manage your work accounting work in Tally Prime and Tally ERP9 so let me show you the same thing in Tally ERP9 you can create new voucher types in Tally ERP9 by moving to the accounts information and then voucher types and here if you press the enter key then you will almost see the same screen and you can type in name here like cash receipt then the voucher type like receipt and the abbreviation and then further details which you can leave default because we will discuss them in later tutorials and here you can also define a class so cash receipt and I will go with cash ledger sorry and then bank receipt and here I can also choose a single ledger let's say for bank receipt if I always want to choose Andhra bank then it will get fixed 
while you will enter the cache receipt voucher type so instead of doing that because because the bank name could be different for one entry and for another entry it could be access bank so that is why i am not going to fix this instead i will use the groups bank occ and bank accounts so if i now go to the vouchers and press f6 intel erp9 then there you have cash receipt and if you went hit the enter key then you have bank receipt and cash receipt two classes so same way the voucher type works in both of the versions that erp9 and tally prime so i hope you will like this tutorial let me know by liking sharing and commenting on this video you can also subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorial videos thanks for watching and have a great day